Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Paul Tamayo from Kotaku.com, and today I'm talking about Battlefield 5's new battle royale mode, Firestorm. So if you don't know what Firestorm is, it's basically a 64-player match uh, where everyone, stop me if you've heard this before, <laughs> a parachutes down onto this time a peninsula, not so much an island, uh, where you can uh, obviously run around, scavenge, loot for stuff, and then fight to be the last one or squad remaining. So you can play the, the game mode in either solo mode or with three other people in a squad, which I kind of prefer and actually recommend playing uh, with, um, unless you want to just play solo just to kind of get your feet wet. But what makes this mode unique is the fact that since it's a Battlefield game, it's got destruction, it's got vehicles, and it's got a huge, huge map that looks really, really good. So you can find things like transport vehicles, tanks, a bunch of other things, so even like a prototype helicopter. So the cool thing about Halvoy is that it's currently the largest Battlefield 5 map. So the uh, And the map itself is characterized by 12 sort of like landmark areas that, you know, obviously have really good loot there. It's just kind of where you want to drop, where your eye kind of takes you once you pull up the map in-game. Now, one thing that I find fascinating is that uh, while you're downed, um, you can actually crawl around with, assuming you found a pistol with some ammo, you can crawl around and actually like take some shots if you need to like, you know, provide a little bit of defense or cover while a teammate is trying to revive you. I've run into a couple situations where my teammates have failed to uh, successfully um, eliminate a player, an, an opposing player, after they've already downed them, thinking like, oh, they'll be fine. But they continue to take shots <laughs> while I'm being revived, which leaves me to then clean up what they probably should have tried to clean up initially before trying to revive me. Also, just as like a general note, try to like clear the area out before picking up teammates. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty common, common practice for the most part. And of course, once you're eliminated, you're gone for good. So no revives, which is, is it's pretty interesting because like, Battlefield 5, especially after on the heels of playing so much Apex Legends, is an interesting change of pace, especially because it's so much more methodical, so much slower in nature, as opposed to something like Apex where you're running around, sliding, jumping. And I really enjoy that. I think it's a nice change of pace for sure. Um, I think it definitely is going to take uh, a bit of a learning curve, at least on my end, to just get reacclimated with that. And, uh, and just knowing that, uh, you know, you're no longer just a small cog in a larger machine like most Battlefield maps and and modes tend to be, which I, which is kind of what I appreciate out of a battlefield. I like being the one who's, you know, maybe assisting and helping, and you can still fill in those roles, assuming you find the right gear to put in place. But there is definitely more of a, you're a star player, <laughs> you're not really necessarily coming off the bench. Uh, you have to really hold your ground and hold your weight and be able to assist your squad. The one thing I have a really hard time with, if I'm being honest, is the inventory system. I definitely don't think it's the best inventory system I've used to date, especially in these kind of games. I do think it needs some work, especially in relation to picking things up off the ground. In particular, when you down an enemy or you defeat them and you're trying to manage to pick up a bandage or another gun, sometimes you wind up picking the wrong things or swapping things out accidentally. And it's like not the cleanest, most succinct way to do it. And you'll find yourself more often than not trying to pick something back up that you accidentally dropped which is like not the best feeling in the world especially like in the middle of a firefight which is the worst time for that kind of thing to happen so i hope that they can work on that for future updates i think that like you know while the ui also on screen is pretty massive and, and not completely distracting it doesn't feel like the best use of screen real estate like i don't think i necessarily need to know all the time the things that are in there especially in relation to like ammo unless it's in relation to the ammo for guns that i'm currently using i think some of that stuff can be maybe stripped away and and cleaned up a bit it does take a little time also to get into the action i feel like after a fight uh in most games um you know you're able to just sort of get back into the swing of things relatively quickly um but in this one it feels like it takes a little longer because you have to you know you have to quit you have to join you have to start back up search for another matchmaking session you could stay in that round uh, uh you know if you wanted to but I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of times I don't make it to like the top 10 or whatever, so it doesn't really make sense for me to just be hanging around watching a, a squad or especially once I died because it's like unless I'm, unless those are actually like my friends and I'm, I'm going to be playing with them after this round, it doesn't make much sense for me to stick around and hang out. So I just more often than not just dip and try to get into another match. I think that can be sped up if, if possible, you know, like having to see your unlocks and your progression stuff in between those times, I think can be cleaned up or maybe happen while you're matchmaking to the next round. I mean, I'm no game developer, but I feel like if you just added a button there towards the end of a round that said like, you know, play again, and you just hit that and you just jump right back in, I think that would be a little better if, if you know, if, if they could implement something like that.
I do think that one thing that I kind of glossed over, which is the destruction, I think is one of the major selling points for me so far that sets this game apart from other battle royales. There are moments where you're like, oh, they're in that building, but hey, I have this artillery strike or I have this grenade or I have this rocket. Let's just punch a hole in the wall or let's try to bring this building down, which is kind of cool. It, it, it's something that you have to incorporate into your vocabulary, which I find really fascinating, especially yeah, as somebody who's played a bunch of these battle royale games. It is kind of cool to have to learn something new. I, I find that really you know, really encouraging and really exciting to have something new to master. But um, for the most part, I'm not loving Firestorm. Uh, I I'm having some fun with it. I have, have some moments. I think it definitely shines if you're in a party with people who like to communicate and talk on comms and point things out and be generally helpful. But otherwise, I mean, like most Battle Royales, I think if you're you're not really playing it with folks on, on, on chat, on mic, it can be kind of dull in, in a lot of ways. And I think sometimes the lead up and, and build up to the final moments of a battle royale game, for me, for the most part, always feel like this heightened thing where my heart's racing and I feel like, and that definitely still happens here, of course, because the stakes are high and, you know, you don't get a revive, but I feel like more often than not, the end results kind of feel a little anticlimactic. Even I, I've seen, you know, streamers and, and other YouTubers who have been playing the game, I've seen them win. And even just like the win screen and stuff doesn't feel as like cool. I don't know, but that's just kind of my personal opinion, but speeding a couple things up making things a little more clear in the, on the ui side could really really help but for the most part i'm not sure that i'm gonna rush back to this no pun intended uh i do want to spend more time with it obviously and and get a feel for it and see how it evolves over time but to be honest right now it's definitely not my first pick um in terms of a battle royale game it's it's definitely a cool game i think if some of my friends wanted to check it out i might check it out with them but I kind of rather play other games instead, especially right now with so many things out. I'm not sure this one made enough of a case for itself, at least not yet. So I'm going to play some more. I'm curious to know what you all think. Please let me know in the comments. I am really genuinely am curious to see what fellow players of Battlefield are thinking about this game. Or maybe you don't even have Battlefield and you're curious in buying it for Firestorm. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you around. Peace. Peace.